you? Very good. And you? I'm I'm good. Congratulations. That means congratulations. Oh. Thank you. Hi. What's your name? What does that mean? What's your name? Oh, Lawrence. We're at the ends of the earth. We are the last in you in. There is no one else further south. This will be quite a change from the tent boys. Congratulations, boys. You did really well. On the eleventh day of our journey, in the last rays of daylight, the Peterak engulfed the village and blocked us in our tracks. We didn't know how long we would be living at the pace of Isortok. This small community, isolated in the ice, where life depends on nature's resources and man's imagination. my violin and music. As a joke, I asked Gert if there was a piano around. He took me to the harmonium inside the church. I played my song called Greenlands. Together, we sang Cohen's Hallelujah. quite mysterious, but by singing with him, I felt like I was getting to know him better. The storm was raging, snow drifts formed before our eyes and wreaked havoc on the landscape. Two weeks earlier, a man had disappeared in the snow when he'd gotten lost in the middle of the village. However, we went out to help carry a bear skin. As the ice flow melts, starving polar bears get closer to the houses. The locals had no choice but to kill one of these bears. The dogs couldn't chase it away. Such is the Arctic and its extreme conditions. Three, six, nine, about eleven and a half feet. That bear was eleven and a half feet diagonally across. We measure bears diagonally. That's why. Why? I don't know. I have no idea. You're the one who said so. Third day, the Peter Act died down in the late afternoon. We went to help Peter.